exams they are most important at the same time most scariest part of students academic life uh, there are students who does exceptionally well in theory paper uh, but uh, they are very scared to uh, go for a practical exams because in theory paper you have to face just the uh, questions and can write whatever you studied but the practical exams where you have to face a external examiner you have to face a patient there will be spotters uh, there will be viva chair side viva grand viva so that all creates uh, a stressful condition for a student so the video intends to make you aware of the procedures or the pattern of marks or how to attend viva or all other things which is going to happen on the day of practical exam with regard to the subject public health dentistry myself dr abdul sahir head of the department public health dentistry malabar dental college so on the day of practical exam you have to face uh, the first thing is spotters and these are some uh, sample spotters uh, it is basically based on the theory topic you don't expect the same um, spotters in every college uh, this is what i prepared and i might change it in every exam so this could uh, include a person identifying a person identifying a object uh, writing about the father of dentistry for standard college uh, or a flow chart or a diagram or an equation or something from biostatistics or Uh, presentation of data some logos uh, it could be anything so mostly it will be displayed sometimes uh, in some colleges they'll keep the objects um, as such and you have to identify it uh, not from the screen so it is basically theory based uh, uh, spotters from public health dentistry okay the entire marks is for 80 so spotters there will be 10 spotters this 10 spotters each spotter carries two marks so spotters you will be assembled in a lecture hall the spotters will be displayed on the screen you have to identify the spotter there will be one additional question so each spotter carries two marks so if you write all spotters uh, the correct answer you will get 20 marks okay after that uh, there will be case history then the indices case history carries 10 marks so you have to write a uh, proper case history and this is a general format of case history it starts from uh, patient's name case number and all the demographic data then we have medical history dental history family history oral hygiene practices and all the details the cleaning methods types frequency duration after that we will be having the physical examination extra oral intra oral soft tissue where you will be examining all the intra oral tissues after that comes the gingiva its color consistency texture recession bleeding all those things then comes the heart tissue where you need to write the dentition the caries restoration stains finally you will be having uh, the provisional diagnosis then you need to Uh, reach into a final diagnosis that is the final part then the treatment plan you need to write a treatment plan uh, as per your diagnosis uh, basis on uh, primary level secondary and tertiary level you have to take two indices two. so any index can be asked so this is a very commonly asked one oral hygiene index you will be checking the debris index and calculus index and uh, it can be a oral hygiene simplified index the same way you will be checking only six teeth both for debris and calculus then you will be having either dmft or dmfs where you will be checking the dk missing and uh, filled uh, status of patient or you can have a resels periodontal index where the periodontal condition of a patient will be checked as per the criteria 0 1 2 4 and 6 and eight two relevant indices mostly it will be ohis and dmfs or dmft so ohis and dmft you have to draw properly with scale and pencil you have to uh, bring two sets of instruments with green cloth and aluminum foil with proper uh, right
writing pad a uh, pencil uh, pens color pencil for shading dmfs everything you have to bring then you have to record it ohis uh, not ohi ohis then you have to uh, conclude it with oral hygiene status of the patient is good fair poor as per the score then you have to score uh, dmft or dmfs uh, some examiners ask for both some uh, examiners say just dmfs so you have to label the um, dk missing fill with using colors uh, the black color for dk uh, red for missing blue for filling uh, and you have to use uh, crayons pencils you are not supposed to use pens after that you have to add it up dmf so what is the final dmf score and you have to remember it also okay when examiners ask just like that you have to say it so that was ohis and dmfs this carries 30 marks okay so the neatness the presentation how you write all carries a lot of marks 30 marks case history has just 10 marks and this indices 30 marks so overall it reaches 60 marks 24 spotters 10 for case history and 34 your indices so 30 plus 20 plus 10 60 marks after that 20 marks will be given for your um, seminars your projects or uh, maybe a health education talk will be there but uh, at times some ex external examiner might ask you to uh, do a health education talk during the viva some might not ask it depends on the examiner so altogether 80 marks so the practical exam is for 80 marks then you will be having a viva for 20 marks okay so 20 marks viva uh, there will be definitions the two things which you need to study without fail the first thing is your question paper okay both schemes there will be question paper for 10 scheme and 16 scheme be thorough with these two question papers and your seminars so you'll be having two seminars with you be thorough with these two seminars and uh, your camp reports whatever you have submitted make sure that you have something to say about all the camp reports all the projects everything because it is your project you must be knowing it in and out uh, if the external examiner asks something about it you, you need to tell it so that was about grand viva so during the viva never be blank don't be uh, silent so you just keep talking don't just bluff things you just keep talking even if you don't know something you just say answers which is very close to it if it is very specific don't uh, simply guess if, if the examiner asks you uh, when was uh, uh, WHO established it is 1948 don't just say 1994 or 2000 so in those conditions you just be quiet if they're asking about health education or water purification say something okay so the definitions you must study are uh, epidemiology health education survey dental auxiliary water purification and water fluoridation definition you must learn is entices because during the chair side viva the definition of intex will be asked and its ideal requisites its classification so everything about the intex intex is very important for your chair side okay so that was about uh, viva okay the viva will be added to the theory paper okay so theory paper you know for 16 scheme the theory paper for 70 marks and 10 scheme it is for 100 marks and for 10 scheme the viva will be for 25 marks and 25 uh, theory internal will be there so overall it is 150 for 16 scheme the 70 marks uh, written paper uh, then 10 marks theory internal and 20 marks theory viva okay so altogether 100 for 150 for 10 scheme and 100 for uh, 16 scheme so uh, on the day of exam uh, you have to come very early if uh, the uh, if you are supposed to come by 8 never be late because portals will be starting uh, exactly on the um, stipulated time so always reach early uh, it makes you uh, stress free that was all about uh, practical exams on public health dentistry. Uh, do well and all the very best. Thank you.